This plant is Formium Duet, and it's a nice uh, dwarf variety of the flax family. And it's, so it's dwarf variegated flax. There are other variegated forms that are dwarf as well, but uh, let me tell you about this one. I like this because it's truly a, a nice compact form. One of the things that I find as a designer is it's a little frustrating. There's so many types of formium in uh, the trade now that it's hard to keep track of which ones uh, have a certain coloration as well as uh, what size they're going to become. And, uh, and then there's a third part of the equation which I'll get into is what is their heat tolerance. Uh, I live in a hot inland valley in Northern California and that's where I do most of my work. And and some of the varieties that um, uh, the flax varieties are spin-offs of uh, Formium cookianum. And these are from a cooler part of the world where uh, they're not very tolerant of inland heat. And so one of the things I would say to you is when you're looking at... Um, whether to use a certain plant, uh, a type of flax that you you kind of investigate that. Two good sources of that that I I use on a regular basis are Monterey Bay Nursery. Dot com. They're online. Um, have some good information on flaxes as well as San Marcos growers in Santa Barbara. Um, so. These are used quite a bit and the dwarf forms are really nice because they fit in tighter areas as a nice spiky accent. Obviously what I like at, about them as a designer is I like the form and I like the uh, year-round interest in the texture of the plant as well as the variegated leaf. So that's how I use them as a designer. Um, I see some designers use these in mass and uh, that's certainly a way to do that, especially in commercial projects. But I like to use them as kind of a corner accent to give a little texture break to a planting area. Because of the lighter color, these are also nice in shade and part shade. And um, I wouldn't say deep shade is their best situation. These certainly can handle sun. And this particular variety can handle a lot of heat. These are in full sun in a hot inland valley. Uh, they like kind of regular water. I wouldn't go too drought resistant. Now they may be, and if they can take the hot inland conditions, if you had these in part shade, they could probably tolerate some drought. But they're not going to look their best in my opinion. Um, so that's what I can tell you about Formium Duet. It's a nice uh, dwarf variegated form of the flax family. And again, probably one of its strongest points is its, its nice compact size and being able to take inland heat. Also, the deer do leave the flax family alone in most cases. I've never seen them eat flax, so they're good for that situation as well. And something I almost forgot, the size on this is about 24 inches high and wide. Uh, this one's closer to 30, but uh, 24 to 30 inches is uh, it seems to be its mature size.